Hi, in this part of the video, I will help you to enable RFID or the proximity readers with your POC setup. So first of all, go to your virtual appliance server machine and <clears throat> hopefully the server is up and running. If not, boot the server and you will come to this machine looking interface in a Microsoft virtual appliance. Launch a browser as I'm doing here. And one of the shortcuts here is TAM ESSO Access Admin. Launch the Access Admin. You will be logged on to it because you are also logged on as agent, as Jane Smith or John Smith or any one of your administrator. Now, in this, search for the machines. So click on the search button. And so you have all the machines in your POC setup. In my case, I have just installed the agent on one of the machine outside, which is workgroup IBM dash the following number. So this is the machine or my POC test machine, which is where I want to enable a RFID or a proximity device. Click on this and you will see that this is the machine IP, the name and the version number and everything make sure that you are talking about the same machine on which you are going to make the changes okay once you have come here look at the bottom of this page and you find out what is the machine policy template assigned to this machine and in this case it is personal so the way to enable rfid for this machine is to make the change to the personal type of template so you go to template assignments click on template assignments and look for the machine template type that we were talking about in your case in my case here it's personal so click on personal you are going to scroll down and make a change to the properties of this template which is RFID so in my case it is already RFID but to just to show you you will see it the following way RFID click on add and this adds the RFID here. Once you have added RFID, click on update. And by doing that, now you have changed the personal template type to be an RFID personal template type. Alternatively, you could choose to create a new template altogether and name it RFID personal. And assign it all the policies as you require and on top of that make it RFID and add and then add this policy type either one of the ways whichever you have done you have to go back to search and you have to search for the machine that we are talking about in this case for group slash IBM the number and make sure that either the personal with the change that you have made or the RFID dash personal the new one you have created is assigned to this machine so you click on assign this gets reassigned if it was previously assigned if not it gets newly assigned once you do that with a restart of your IBM dash uh, work group dash IBM machine you should be fine and you should see that it will work with RFID at that point once you have restarted the machine all you need to do is to uh, hopefully you already have procured the RFID uh, proximity reader and the badges take that reader insert it into the drive uh, of your laptop and it will start working with the TAMI SSO that's how simple it is for more questions look at the TAMI SSO forum on the IBM the address of the forum you can find it from here uh, additional resource spaces support forum this link right here would take you to the forum which is where you will find more information about it. thank you